10 News is getting reaction to the Pride Parade protests in Havana. Cuban gay rights activists holding their own parade after the official one was abruptly canceled. Local 10's Hatzel shows us how it's all playing out on official state television. The setting was the round table, the state run television show here in Cuba. The topic was gay issues, and of course, they had to talk about Saturday's incidents. Algunos. The host starts off by alleging enemies of the Cuban state saw an opportunity to divide the community. On the show, we heard from Manuel Vasquez, assistant director for the National Center for Sex Education, the body that annually plans the gay-focused activities. For a while now, they have tried to use this space, talking about groups, he says, who tried to undermine the annual parade. He goes on to talk about the international political context as another reason for canceling the parade. Decidimos que no íbamos a darle ese espacio. We decided we weren't going to give them the space, he said, once again talking about groups, but not specifying which groups. Shortly after the cancellation was announced, members of the LGBT community here in Cuba used social media to put out information about an independent parade which despite threats took place at Havana's Parque Central Saturday and ended with several arrests. <laughs> After some in the group insisted the march should move to Malecón, the seaside walkway in Havana. Eh, tengo entendido, eh, no superó la cifra de 150. Vasquez tried to discredit the independent march, arguing they had no permission and barely had 150 people, with most of the folks being press. Those arrested, they claim, have never been involved in the LGBT movement. Mariela Castro, daughter of former President Raul Castro, is seen as the leader of gay rights in Cuba. Castro says she wants the Cuban people to collaborate and become interested in sex education and the fight for LGBT rights. Y no reproduzca tonterías, eh, estupideces, prejuicios y chisme. But doesn't want people to spread stupidities, gossip, from the so-called independent press, she said, and the major media outlets. We must unite, she said. I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News, Havana.